I'm Lieutenant General Tom Seminite, 54 Chief of Engineers, and we're on the road again, another day with the great Walla Walla District. And here we are at the Lower Granite Project to be able to look at how do we be able to continue to improve the fish count here on the Snake River. With me is the great Walla Walla District Commander, Damon Della Rosa. Damon, right behind us is a massive, great big lock and dam. You have hydropower, navigation, all the other things are regular lock and dam. But this specific facility, we're really focusing on fish. I want you to be able to explain to our Corps of Engineers a little bit, what are some of the big functions we're trying to achieve here? Yes, sir. So here at Lower Grand Lock and Dam, this is the first of the dams on the, on the Lower Snake River. And I think what is important about this one is, this is, where the, this is the first dam that the juveniles migrating downriver are come through. And it's the last dam that the adults returning back from, from the, uh, return back uh, for spawning. So it's this important facility that we have here in order to kind of determine how, what our numbers are heading out to sea and how, 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 much, uh, how successful we as the Corps of Engineers are at bringing the, bringing the fish back. Right now we're seeing around 98% survival rate coming through this dam. And again, the return rates are really good as well. Yeah, I think the other thing, though, this lock and dam is, you know, 60 or 70 years old. But what I'm seeing here is brand new construction. We're standing right in the middle of this massive brand new facility to be able to move fish, to be able to count them. These are some of the great people from NOAA here that are picking this up. They'll be able to insert the right tags. And then you've got mature fish coming up. You've got juveniles. Right above us is a massive, great, big architecture. $40 million just built last year to be able to continue to work this through. With me is one of our experts in the Corps of Engineers, Elizabeth Holgren. Elizabeth, you're our senior fish biologist here. Try to make this simple for the average person watching this. What are we trying to achieve here? So at Lower Granite, we have a unique opportunity because we are the first dam of juveniles going down and the last dam for adults coming up. We have a unique opportunity for a lot of folks, different re research opportunities for other agencies to come in and improve their fisheries programs. And unlike other projects, we don't just have a juvenile collection facility, we have an adult facility. So those fish that are tagged at Lower Granite as juveniles have an opportunity to be looked at again, which is what these folks at NOAA are doing right now. And um, the information that they use are is used throughout the region to improve fish populations and runs. But the other thing is their information helps us make improvements to our infrastructure so we can improve fish passage throughout the whole, the whole system. Yeah, I think the other thing too, this is a definite team effort. You've got NOAA here, you've got Fish and Wildlife, you've got the Corps of Engineers, you've got Bonneville Power, and then you've got a lot of people, the local states are here, you've got grad students out here working this, everybody coming together, sh collecting information, sharing information and trying to figure out how we can learn to be able to improve this. And I think what I was most impressed with, I always thought the biggest problem was getting the mature fish going upstream. But what you're really most focused on, how do you optimize the juveniles going downstream? And you've showed me three or four different stations we have built to either be able to tag them, to be able to make sure we're even putting them in barges, taking them all the way down to the ocean so we bypass anything else on the river. You got a lot of different machinery here, but I'm real impressed with what you're doing. And I think the main thing is, is you got a passion by all everybody here to not slow down, not stop, keep driving on to make something happen. So, Damon, I'm real impressed with what your team doing. Northwest Division's all over this, and our guys from uh, the rest of the interagency is here. It really is a team effort, but uh, just being uh, real impressed with four hours on the ground. You can look at PowerPoint slides from Washington, D.C., but when you're here in the middle of the Lower Granite Project, I would encourage anybody to come down, see our guys, get a tour, and understand the massive architecture and the scientific investment that is here to be able to help figure out how we can improve fish population. Great job, Elizabeth. Very, very well done. Damon, keep driving on. Thanks. We got a lot of work to do in the Corps, but guys like you, experts like Elizabeth, you're going to knock it out of the park. And I always end with, you know, we're Army strong today, we're building strong, and we sure are, you know, lower granite strong without a doubt. So, job well done, okay? No fish left behind. No fish left behind.